Today I'm making a basket weave ring inspired by my beehive tutorial. I'll link it below. You are going to need your tools, 22 gauge wire, a ring mandrel, and four millimeter beads. For the simple wire one, we're going to take about eight to 10 inch pieces of 22 gauge wire and fold them in half. So then we'll just hold the middle section with our round pliers and bend the wires so they're parallel and then put two of these pieces together. Hold them at the end with the tip of your thumb, crisscross them and do three turns. Keep them at an equal angle to make the twist more even. So then we're going to get a third piece of wire, hold it in place. I actually tried this with four pieces and it was really hard to hold. You can attempt it with more wires if you want a wider ring. So we're going to do three twists and that's how we start them off together. And then we're going to keep alternating and twisting the wires together. So we're just going to go over to the end wires, twist them one, two, three together. So we have sort of a basket style, just crisscrossing them, do a row at a time, one, two, three, and then bring the other wire over to the end and crisscross them and twist. So just holding it firmly with one hand and doing the twisting with the other hand and keeping in mind you need to keep the wires out at a equal angle so the twist is even. My finished ring ended up being a little bit crooked but it's okay. It's artistic. So measure about two and three quarters inches. Depends on how big your finger is. And then we're just going to straighten out some of these wires on the end. Just pull them out and that's our beginning part and then put it on the ring mandrel. This is the stepped ring mandrel which is nice because each section is a cylinder so it's easier to get wider rings a nice shape. So I just trimmed them and then I staggered the, the trim so some of the sections are longer than others so it's easier to get into the loops. When they're all the same height it's really tricky. So put them ends through the loops, put it back on the ring mandrel, grab the ends with your flat pliers and tug them over. So just make sure they're straightened out, tug them over and there you go. So they're attached now and then push the ends down. This ring is not adjustable. You could probably finish them off without attaching them in the loops to make it more adjustable but this is just a basic ring. So now take one of the ends, the outer end, and loop it back through to make it more secure. So we're gonna loop it through and then trim that flush. And then you could pinch in that little pokey end and then keep going with the ends in this manner. And then the middle one you could feed it through and then clip it and pinch it down. We just want to get those little pokey ends in so they're not scratchy. And then another one on the outer end, especially on the outer end wires, you want to loop them through at least once so they're secure. The middle wires you can just bend over and pinch. Just make sure all the ends are in there and then put it back on the ring mandrel. Adjust it as you need. You can spread those out a little bit to make it wider, either with your fingers or you can get your pliers and just like spread them out. Those are my round pliers. And then there you have your very basic basket weave ring. Now if you want to add beads, we're going to use four millimeter pearl beads and the 22 gauge wire again. And I'm going to put a B 
bead on there. We're starting in the same way we did before, but now we're adding beads. So I put a bead, I put two of the wires through one bead. So the hole has to be big enough to fit two wires. And we're going to put a bead on the other two. These are the middle wires. So in, instead of uh, doing the twist right away, we're just going to stick those two beads on there to hold the wires together. And then we're going to go ahead and do our twisting. So we've got it twisted there and the beads stay in place. And then we're going to twist it again. Now you could put the beads in any which way you like. Just follow the pattern of the first ring and stick beads on where you want. Space them evenly or just randomly, however you like. So I just uh, put a couple of beads and then now I'm going to add some more beads as I go. So on the outer edges I'm adding beads now, doing my twist. I'm really just winging it. You guys can do this any way you want. And like I said, it's easier with three wires. I wouldn't attempt four unless you've practiced with three wires first. And I'll link up the Beehive a tutorial as well, because this is a handy technique that you can use to fill in uh, spaces when you're doing designs in wire. So yeah, I'm adding beads every which way, doing my twist. And just going along and deciding where I want the beads. You can put them on every single wire if you want or just uh, space them out a little bit. So just keep going and once you have it as long as you want you get to measure it to make sure it's the right length about two and three quarters inches. So now I'm just twisting one end around and clipping it. I just want less wires to work with. So on the center wires I'm just pulling that end around and giving it a flush cut. So now I only have four wires instead of six. So pinch those in a little bit. Do any adjusting you need. And then put it on the ring mandrel. Bring it around. You could even use 24 gauge wire if you find the 22 too stiff but you don't want it to be too fragile either. So now we're just going to bend these over a little bit and then you have your ends cut sort of at different heights and make sure we have spaces to put the ends in and then we're just going to feed those through. So put it back on the ring mandrel push it in so it's nice and snug and take the end one by one with your flat pliers and pull them over. So we've got it started there. Now push them right down with your fingers. Remove it from the mandrel and then again we can feed those ends around to finish it off. Use your flat pliers to feed them through. Give it a good little tug and clip it flush. Flip it around and do the same on the other side. Just bring that end over, feed it through the loop, pull it right around, little tug and clip it flush. And we can do the same with these ends. The center ends you can just bend them over and clip them if it's easier because the stability will be made by the outer wires. Clip it flush and then we just have one more wire after that and then we're going to clip it flush. Pinch in all those pokey ends, put it back on the ring mandrel you could push it down with your flat pliers, adjust it with your fingers, 
And there you have your beautiful beaded basket weave ring. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.